thing about tides is that they're very predictable. Um, tides are predictable years in advance, uh, where we can tell what's, uh, when's the high water going to be and how high is it going to be, that kind of thing. Other kinds of uh, water level change from ocean-atmosphere interaction are not predictable. The water level rise experienced in most places um, that amounted to something like six, six tenths to nine tenths of a foot, say in our area, um, was made more noticeable by the fact that it occurred um, during times of um, what are called spring tides, tides that occur uh, when the bodies that cause the tides, the earth, moon, and sun, are in an alignment um, that causes their gravitational attraction of the waters on the earth to strengthen and uh, create larger tides, tides of greater range, higher highs, lower lows. And in addition to that, we had what is called a, a perigean um, tide. The moon and its orbit around the earth um, describes an ellipse rather than a circle, and there are times in that cycle in which the moon is closest to the earth, and those give rise to stronger tides called perigean tides. Sometimes when the uh, perigean tides coincide with the spring, uh, you get perigean spring tides of unusually large range, and these in fact happened uh, during June uh, at a time when the water levels uh, were elevated. In addition to tides, which are from the Earth, Moon, Sun gravitational interaction, uh, we have ocean atmosphere interaction that is responsible for some of the more slow, gradual changes we see in uh, water levels in the coastal ocean. And what we're learning about now is the even slower uh, than the daily tides uh, interannual variabilities from one year to the next in the mean water levels that we have along our coast. Uh, these are cycles that are uh, related to motions in the ocean like the Gulf Stream and the Florida current. And we're finding that uh, the currents uh, are not flowing always at the same rate. Uh, the transport uh, increases, transport of water increases or slows. And this has an effect on the water levels along our coast. And we're finding that uh, those long period interannual cycles uh, not only have an effect on water levels, but uh, drive the climate in our region. It might make the difference between a uh, cold winter in New England and uh, a warm summer in France, for example. What we are interested in is what are water levels doing relative to that long term tidal datum? Let's say over the last 30 days, approximately a calendar month. Uh, when we make those kind of comparisons, we can say, uh, right now, at this moment, our water levels are elevated uh, by, say, nine-tenths of a foot, as was the case back in uh, June, for the month of June. And that is important because we know that we're a little bit more at risk from uh, a storm that might come our way.